Welcome back. Got a question for you. You're walking down the sidewalk, as most people do. As you approach this person coming the other direction, you look away. He or she does the same thing. My question is, did you have a relationship? You didn't say anything to each other. You didn't look in each other's eyes. The surprising answer is yes, you definitely had a relationship. Why did you have a relationship? Because you're not just a body. You're also an energy field. And when you're going by somebody, depending on how big your energy field, how far it's extending in that moment, as well as the other person's, your energy is going to move through each other's energy field. Most people, I should say most women, have an energy field that goes out, I have a way of measuring it, and it's usually somewhere in the neighborhood of four to eight feet. Once I saw it going out for 30 feet, I thought that was a really terrific thing. And then my mentor who taught me how to measure energy said, that's terrible. Now why do you think it's terrible to have an enormous, expansive energy field? By the way, it's also called your aura. What happens when your energy field is spread out like that? Anybody who walks through it, having their own energy field, is going to share their energy with you. Now look around at the faces on people in the world today. How many people walk around peppy and smiling and just have their head up high and they have a brisk step? Not a whole lot of people. Most people, you ask them how they're doing and they'll say, fine, and getting by. In other words, they're ho-hum. Their energy is ho-hum, or even worse, they might have something going on in their life that made them angry or frustrated or sad, and that's permeating their energy field. They walk through your energy field, and you're picking up their anger, frustration, upset, sad, whatever it is. It's coming into your field, and your field will come into you if you don't know how to get rid of it. See, everything that's going on in your life, every big thing and every little thing, every emotional thing and every physical thing has to do with relationships and the energy exchanges they happen. Just think about what happens when you go in the grocery store. All those people milling about and some of them are coming close to you and some of them aren't, but the fact is everybody in there where you work, everybody in there has got energy going on. And they may try to leave whatever issue it is outside the office door. But it's in their energy, and you are picking it up, and it is driving your energy down. Now here's another thing that might happen when you're out and about. Sometimes there are people who are, oh, weird, is that the right word? And they just say nasty things, and if you happen to be walking by them when they say it, it might appear to be and actually might be directed at you. And if you're a woman, let's say 80% of women, not all women are like this, but if you're one of those 80%, chances are you're going to take it personally, even though you don't know that person. And you might be upset about it, and it might just sit in your energy field for the rest of your life. Learn how to pull your energy in, learn how to protect yourself, learn how to build your energy. And that's your tip for day number two.